Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kenneth Gray. I'm the director of Gray Eagle Transition. It's a nonprofit organization whose mission is to reduce crime. Um, today I have with me Mike Dunn, um, a good dear friend of mine that I think I met in uh, what year we met, Mike? Uh, 2006, May of 2006 in Yazoo City Federal Correctional Institute uh, okay. in Mississippi. <laughs> okay, okay, 2006. It's 220, man. So we've been hanging in there. Yeah. We've been hanging in there, boy. We've been hanging Strong. In there. Okay, okay. <laughs> What, what was your first impression, man, of um Kenneth Gray, Coach K, um, when you oh, met him? Oh, 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 Gray Eagle, man. I know everybody called him Coach Gray, but man, I go, I stick with his business name because he got the eye of the eagle and he last name Gray, so I call him Gray Eagle. Um, okay. My first impression of him, you know, that's what I call him now. But back then, Kenny, man, you know, um, he he came across as a humble, humble young man, you know, humble brother. Um, you know, you know, making that transition, I came out of a um like from a medium coming down to a low. So, you know, I was okay. kind of a little shell shocked when I first met him, you know, him and a few other brothers there helped me make the transition coming down yeah. from a medium to a low, you know, a little bit smoothly. So, you right, know, right, right. You know, it, was, it was all good. It was all love. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> and we've been friends since then. Brothers, I ain't gonna even say friends. So I'm saying we brothers, man. <laughs> okay. How do we come back across paths, Mike, in, in the course of the 14 years? Oh, because, man, um, you know, we, we, we set goals when we was in there, you know, what we was going to do when we got out, you know, and, um, you know, and we both stuck to that. And um, okay. we both got our CDLs. I got out a few years before him. You know, we was encouraged, you know, to, you know, to pick up a trade and, you know, to do something constructive and positive because neither one of us, you know, that, that system, it could be a revolving door for anybody. And we made, we vowed, you know, yeah. he I, and a few others, you know, it wasn't going to be a revolving door this time, you know. Yeah, that's um, it. That's it. Uh, yeah, this was it. You know, it's, it's yeah. do or die now, and um, and we stuck to our guns. You know, and okay. then it was it was it was funny because you know, it's funny because I believe I I believe in you know nothing happens by coincidence. And, you know, we both got our CDLs, and and you know I, I had been on the road probably about a year or two before he got his and got out there. And we just ran across each other. It's funny how God bring people you know good people back together and keep that circle you know that that circle straight. And okay. we never lost contact you know since then. Okay, okay. Um, well, obviously, you know, I got the program going on now, man. Gray Eagle Transition. It's a nonprofit organization. Like I said, our mission is to reduce crime. You know, guys been in our situations um, through education and workforce training. You got your CDL. I got my CDL. It tremendously impacted your life. You became a business owner. The same with me. Um, through workforce training, do you believe that is one of the positive ways in which we can reduce crime in our communities? Oh, most definitely because somebody is working. Yeah, somebody's working through a CDL, through some type of license, through some type of degree. Exactly, absolutely. Through some type of, um, any kind of educational program that would, you know, help enhance they, you know, their mindset and change their thought process. Um, I always believe that's a good thing. Education, if, if you know, you probably educated, not just, you know, in, in, as far as getting a, a PhD or master's or right, undergraduate right, degree. Right, right. But There's if many you, different if you, forms you, of education, right. Right. If you get some kind of skill or trade, you know, that's always going to be beneficial, you know, and, and not, not just, not just in that area, but when you got a group of men that you could call on or what I could consider good counsel, you know, that could help steer you from going the wrong direction, then that's always, that's always a good thing. You know, we call it each one teach one. Right. And, you know, you go find another one and teach him and, you know, that person go teach another one, and, you know, right. and they keep the cycle going and it, it keep you, you know, grounded and, and not thinking about, you know, when you have those thoughts about, you know, doing, you know, right. the, criminal, right. the thoughts of criminal criminality or crim, of, of a criminal. Going back into you know, our old ways. Going yeah, going out, you're about to slip, you know, we could right. catch you before right. you fall. Right, you know, right, right. steer you back, you know, back on course. So, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in uh, the nonprofit organization that you, you know, created because you've been working on it since I met you in 2006. Okay. So it's really good to see have, it, you have, know. Have, have I shared any of that information with you and have it impacted you in any type of way? Oh, definitely. Both, most definitely. On a scale of one to 10, what you think about the program with 10 being the highest, what, what would you give the program, Gray Eagle Transition? Oh, I support Great Eagles transition uh, transitions to a, a thousand percent on a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest. You know, you got to go up a couple of notches. I, I got to give it a twelve.